Good morning, Afina family. Rumbling Adams here on this beautiful spring day. All right, team, I want to talk about uh, the gospel reading from this last weekend because, man, as always, there's bang crimping things to learn from those and to incorporate in our very beings, Fian family. Um, this last weekend is, is where Jesus takes a couple of the disciples up this mountain and all of a sudden, he's dazzling and like like white and like this big garment and he's all like shiny and on one side of him is Moses and on the other Elijah these images and and the disciples are like what's going on and Peter's like this is the most amazing moment in my entire by the way this might not be word for word from the scriptures but he's like this is the most amazing moment in my entire life let's make some tents here man let's stay here let's never leave this awesomeness ever and so we see all the way back there this tendency to cling to what like I don't change nothing changed this is awesome don't change and we're so busy clinging to it and taking pictures of it and putting it up on Facebook or Instagramming or whatever you would do on the thinger and that we never actually live in it and we never actually experience it and we never actually savor those moments and I think what this is actually inviting us into Fian family is really entering each moment of our life and each season of our life. We spend so much time trying to keep everything exactly as it is and not changing and clinging and clinging and clinging or like it's not good enough, it has to be how it used to be. We spend so much time doing that that we forget to actually live in this moment that's in front of us, this sacred moment, the only one that's real, this one right here, right now. Or something bad happened and we think about it and we think about it and we we almost get addicted to just grasping onto that moment and letting that moment define us. And Or we're scared about something in the future and so we think about that and we we do these what ifs and what ifs and create these scenarios that don't even exist instead of actually pausing breathing and experiencing this moment just this just this moment and so that actually allows you to experience those beautiful moments at much more of a depth and it also allows us to enter into the more difficult moments knowing and trusting um, that God can bring beauty from it and that we can learn from it and that it's the beginning of something new and so fee and family May you allow yourself to pause and to breathe and to really truly enter your life in each given moment. Just this. Try that. If you catch your mind going all over the place, think just this, just this moment. Just whatever is right in front of you, wherever you are sitting, allow yourself to be there. Don't cling to it. Don't try to not have anything change. But allow yourself the freedom to live in the truth that is all around you. And you don't have to look far to see it. Uh, there's seasons, if you look right outside, look at, look at nature, there's seasons. Here you've got the end of winter, which was, you know, cold and dark, but what is promised is spring and summer and new life. And it's the same with us, Fee and family. So may you not try to just keep everything perfect, but may you allow yourself to enter and savor your life. Um, and to be just this, just this. And let the church say... Amen. Thank you, Terry. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have yourself a jazzy, awesome, blessed, and sugary day, Fian family. And from our soul to yours, rejoice. Love is alive. We got this. Mic drop.